Welcome to part one of our video on reflection and documentary display. In parts one and two of this video, we'll look at the role reflection plays in learning and the use of documentary display as a tool for reflection. Reflection is a learning technique grounded in the learning psychology of social constructivism and the scientific evidence about how young children construct understandings about the world. In this section, we'll look at what social constructivism tells us about how children learn and how documentary display can support these practices. The spiral curriculum. Bruno coined the term spiral curriculum in 1960 when he suggested that topics should be revisited at successive levels of difficulty so that new learning can be related back to previous learning. Students link to and build on previous learning to increase competence. Recording and displaying a prior cycle of learning can provide the basis for revisiting the topic, addressing misconceptions and deepening knowledge and understandings. Encoding learning. Bruner also proposed that learning can be encoded in three forms. Enactive, encoded in actions that can be repeated. Iconic, encoded in static representations. And symbolic, encoded in language and ideas. As learning develops, the encoding of ideas moves through these stages. When it eventually becomes symbolic, the ideas can be used flexibly communicated to others and combined with other learning, leading to creativity. In building a documentary display, we collect evidence of children's inactive learning, photos of their actions and experiences, and evidence of their iconic learning, the pictures and models they produce to express their understanding. When we share and discuss this display with children, we enable them to move towards symbolic understanding using language to reflect on and probe the learning on display. In the second part of our video, you'll learn about how display can support social learning and learning about learning. Click on to the next page to find out more.